Let's Keith real quick on a job site. I'm gonna tell you a little money-making secret about tree trimming. And you don't need $50,000 in uh, tools, a big spider lift, a chipper, all that crazy stuff. So check this out. I ordered that arborist ladder online for about 500 bucks at 16 feet. And over here is a bunch of Bradford pear trees that we're trimming up. So these trees are between 250 and 350 per tree to trim up. So I send a guy up inside of the tree with a handsaw and pruners. He thins out all the inside, all the scraggly stuff, and he crossing branches. And then we go up, we trim, shape, thin, prune, and sculpt the rest of the tree. So I either go up on the arbor slider and trim it, or I have these badass still Big Dog HT131 articulating head shears for trimming shrubs and trees. These were about 850 bucks with the extension, but what I did was I bought extra extensions, and then I bought an extra extension for the extra extension, and an extra extension for the extra extension. So now I've got like, I don't know, what's that, like 15 feet plus my body. I did the math, it reaches up to like 26 feet when I'm holding it. So now you could trim up a Bradford pear tree in about, mm, do the whole thing about 35 minutes per tree and you're making 250 to $300 per tree. This property we're trimming up for, what did I charge them, like 1400 bucks and we'll be here in one day. So my entire cost for the whole project is, I don't know, gas, labor, dump, 300 bucks or something. So I'm making $1,100 profit today. Now here's the hard part. Going up on that ladder and holding those trimmers is so physically excruciatingly painful and hard that my whole body's exhausted and I'm shaking. Now I want to get it to the point where I can have my guys do this, but they just don't have the body strength or the willpower to go up and down that ladder and trim those trees away up there. I don't even know if I want them to do it yet, but that's the end goal. So if you don't have $50,000 for high-end expensive tree equipment and stuff like that or trimming equipment, which I don't want to go to the bank and get a loan for that, and I'm definitely not going to be making payments on that stuff, you can still pull down a thousand bucks in a day. And then the cool thing is when you're doing it in neighborhoods like this where all the trees need to be trimmed, the neighbors start crawling out of the woodworks. This guy next door, we're doing all his trees next Wednesday, and I fit him in. I move my other small landscape customers to the side to fit him in because he's 1500 in a day. And we'll be done with that in a day. That's another 1200 cash. The guy over here on the corner on the other side, they have a little $350 tree trimming job that we're going to do. And then the other guy way over on the corner, he pulled up. I hopped in his truck, went did a quote, and sold him on 1400 to do his trees. So that's... We're doing those next week too. 1,000, 2,000, I don't know, pull down over three grand in a week. And now, I'm only showing you the bright side of the stuff because I'm not profiting, you know, three grand a week, even though I have before, but that's in a super good week. Uh, my F-150 needs leave springs, that's 350 bucks. I just dropped. 800 into repairing the whole front end of my Dakota truck. My still, uh, my still power pruner. Sorry, I'm so tired. I started talking from climbing up and out. My still power pruner, the shaft fucking bent on it, and it's 350 bucks. My Echo trimmers blew up. The gear snapped on them. I'm pissed off with that. Now i got to go drop 360 on a pair of Echo trimmers. I need a new backpack blower. So every time you think you made some money, something else breaks down that costs you money. So, And you know what? All this stuff is peanuts. I understand that. The whole point of this is to get you out of your job. If you're stuck making like you know an hourly rate so you can make some more money. So I'm well aware of that stuff. But, I mean, it's better than where I came from, right? So, and, and I have buddies that make, dude, that are tearing down 20, 30,000 a month. And I make peanuts compared to them. I'm frustrated every day. My one buddy made $10,000 in a day last week. 
And he's showing me a picture of the brand new 2014 truck. He just walked on the lot and bought it. And he's going on vacations and shit. It just eats me alive. And it's not that I'm bitter or resentful or jealous. It's just I work my guts out and I want that stuff too. And you should want that stuff too. So every next level you get, there's somebody else that always has more and more and more. So um, I'm not going to lie. You think because my business does 150 grand a year and I profit like, what I do, like 45 last year. This year I'll probably make... 55 65 it'll go up every year but that's fucking peanuts peanuts real money is when you're living in a house like that and you're driving beautiful cars and you're going on vacations and you're residu uh you have on a white sandy beach eating a coconut or a pineapple with the juice dripping down your arm being financially free right all right i gotta get back to work and make some money go do something all right bye